sitting inside their lifelong home in Myra, Louisiana, Wendell Montoya Kirksey and his mom Neverlin reflect on stories of their late father and husband, Floyd Kirksey. Neverlin grew up with Floyd in the small town of Hoston. They married in 1958 and had their first child, Montoya, in 1959. Floyd was serving in the United States Army, studying missile and radar technology, becoming an honorate graduate, a certification that later led to his future career. He was looking for a job. He got the newspaper, Freeport Times, and he was looking, and he said, oh, John Six need an need a, uh, engineer. And uh, he said, well, I'm going to go up there. I know I'm not going to get the job. That's what he told me. You know, I said, OK, go ahead. Well, when he got there, it was so strange because they thought he was coming for a janitorial job. And he told them, no, he didn't want a janitorial job. And so they sent him to Mr. Brown. And when he came back home, he had the job. Mr. Floyd Kirksey became KTAL's first black engineer. His technical training in the Army made Floyd stand out to the former general manager, H. Lee Bryant, who soon promoted Floyd to the chief engineer position, becoming the first black chief engineer for KTAL's now 70 years of history. And at that time, you didn't see that many people of color in that position. And so I really looked up towards him for that, you know, those, that accomplishment. His career achievement happened in 1968, turbulent social and political times in American history with racial injustice and the assassination of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Because we talk about 1968 and 69, 70, they kind of kept it on down low because he had a lot of whites working under him. Floyd was the engineer for the station's transmitter in Vivian. The Kirksey's remember many times he would be called in the middle of the night to go make repairs. Picture would go off the air. They would call Floyd. We can't get this picture back on there. We were timing. Oh, we were about 15 minutes from the transmitter. So by the time he got there, about 10 minutes later, the TV was on there. His reputation of reliability quickly grew. Everybody in the community. They were watching town since because they knew Floyd worked there because they knew Floyd was a head man over there keeping it on the air. Floyd used his close connection to his hometown to establish its first Cub Scouts organization for local boys. The Kirksey's say that Mr. Bryant enjoyed Floyd so much that he made KTAL a sponsor of the Cub Scouts. And that was good because little black boys had opportunity to get in the Cub Scouts. That's something that was exciting for us here little black boys here in the country to have something like that. How it touched so many people. The Little Scouts would also be featured on local programming. We was on Channel 6. <laughs> My club. He helped us little boys to achieve, to better themselves. Montoya even followed his father's footsteps. Years later in life, becoming a video technician for KTAL. It continued with Floyd's granddaughter, Caroline Tarver, who interned at KTAL in 2024. Three generations proud to be part of the local news organization, a legacy that started with Floyd. Floyd Kirksey left a defining mark on his family, community, and a budding communications company now proudly telling his story. For Honoring Black History, I'm Alexandra Meacham.